was slain upon Thor was that nobody in the court could get the stone body off of him. Thor was no use at this point. His brain rattled, his breath shallow, but none of Odin's men were nearly strong enough to help. Then enter little Magni and Modi, no taller than shrubs. And while nobody but myself was looking, they flipped over Hrungnir's corpse and freed their father. Magni, being blonder, got all the credit, and Modi remained bitter about it from that day to the end, which I don't need to tell you about. Alrighty. <laughs> I think it's the right area to go to. Yes. I don't like that sound. Atreus, to me! Okay, I'm coming! Okay. Ooh. Here. Boy. It says, Glory to Motsigny. The Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. Well, that didn't happen. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. I see. Whoa. Look, it's another dragon. I see it, boy. Chain. I hope we can find the binding shrines. This place is huge. Oh my god. Ah! Why is this game so big? This game is enormous. It's like... It's not true open world, but it's getting close to it. <laughs> The levels, so they just keep going and going and going. Well, short episode. I'm going to go ahead and stop the episode here then. I didn't realize the area would be this big. Catch you guys later.